I was actually worried that I was going to screw that one up, but that was, I don't know, that was kind of underwhelming. I figured he would have probably, you know, stronger cards. Especially you can get some pretty insane combos with the Cyberdark cards. But, I don't know, that was extremely easy to do. Plus, I had no idea what I was doing with the Crystal Beast deck. Alright, two Graceful Charities. I saw the Sacred Beast card, I'm pretty sure. So is he using the Sacred Beast cards? Yeah, you do have the Sacred Beast cards. Okay, well this is going to be bad if I don't take that down quickly. Alright, I'm going to throw Sparkman in attack mode. I oh, Should I destroy? Yeah, I might as well. Better be on the safe side. Okay, so yeah, that will stop him from drawing extra cards. That's probably a good idea to do. Alright, end my turn. Phantom Chaos. Ooh, that's not good. Wait, I didn't take any damage. Uh, okay, your opponent takes no battle damage from this card. Uh, once per turn, you can target one effect monster in your graveyard, banish the target, and this gets the original attack of that monster for at least for the end of the turn. Uh, and replace it with the effect of the original effects. Okay, so it can technically get Uriah's special ability, which would be... Oh, it gains a thousand attack for each continuous uh, trap card. The graveyard. Alright. Well, we're going to use O Oversoul. Summon our Spark Man again. Then go New Space and Dark Panther. Go for an attack. Alright, you still take damage. And go for another attack. And end of turn. Dark Panther, you can take the effect of another monster, right? Yeah. That could be useful. I mean, as long as you survive on the field, it could be useful. Alright. What we're going to do is send Neos to the graveyard. We got Neos. Then we'll use O Oversoul to bring him back to the field. Or at least bring him to the field. He's never, he was never on the field to begin with. Alright, now... I'm going to use Neos to attack because we don't know how strong that card is. And we'll go for 2600 points of damage. Easy enough. In a turn. Alright, so what does this do? It should read your effect. Uh, during your main phase, you can remove from play this card from your graveyard to select one monster you control until your opponent's next end phase that monster cannot be destroyed by battle okay right cool understandable all right we'll throw that down and we can attack it but it's not obviously not going to get destroyed so go for an attack see what it is another phantom of chaos and i'm guessing since he has uriah he's also going to have the other two is it phantom beasts Phantom Beasts, right? They're either Sacred Beasts or Phantom Beasts, whichever ones they are. Alright, now we should be able to destroy it. And finish it off. Alright, easy win.
All right, the power within. This is against, I'm pretty sure this is the advanced crystal beast. Because Jesse's being controlled by uh, U Bell. I wonder if they're actually going to use that or they're just going to use the standard Crystal Beast deck. Uh. This card is treated as a normal monster while on the field or in the graveyard. Well, this card is a normal monster on the field, you can special normal summon it, it to have its effect, which is his name becomes Elemental Hero Neo. So he can be used as fusion material. That's pretty useful. All right, we'll throw out Air Hummingbird and we'll get 2,500 points and leave ourselves completely wide open for an attack. Okay, that's the advanced dark cards. Which, what does it do? All uh, crystal beast monsters on the field and in graveyard become ultimate crystals? Come dark if an ultimate crystal monster attacks uh, during that battle phase. Damage calculation if a crystal beast monster you control battles, you would take damage. You can send one crystal beast monster from your deck to the graveyard, you take no battle damage. Okay, so it's gonna negate damage. I'm gonna get Swords of Revealing Light. And we'll summon out you. We have to wait one turn though. I wonder if what that trap card's gonna be. Right, and a turn. We can wait one turn, then we can normal summon it and then gain the effect, which it becomes a Neos. Alright, we normal, uh, normal summon. Now it becomes Neos. Technically, we can't actually uh, summon another card now because it counts as summon already. Rainbow Path. Uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, send one Crystal Beast card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard to target the attacking monster, negate the attack. And then you can add one Rainbow Dragon to your hand. Great. Contract out. And Super Polarization. Alright, we're going to throw down Flame Scarab. We can technically use... Wait. Return one Neos Fusion monster you control and all the fusion materials listed are special summoned. Almost on your deck and you can special summon them. That's not too bad. Uh, I will go for an attack though just with Neos. I'll probably keep Flame Scarab uh, there just on the field for now. Ooh, I might be able to attack. That could be his turtle, though. His daughter, so. I uh, won't go for an attack just yet. We'll wait it out and see. Alright, there goes our Swords of Revealing Light. Alright, we can summon another one out. Another Neos out. And we can go for an attack. That's his Cobalt Eagle. And can we attack? Is that going to be his Tortoise? That's his Tortoise. Alright, that's fine. That's 100 points. Not too bad. Now, Flame Scarab is 1700. I can use the uh, Contact Fusion. 
afterwards. That's if he survives. Just wish we had Neo Space, that way we could actually keep him on the field. Alright, we've got a second Flame Scarab now. Alright, we can summon Flare Neos. Face up. Alright. We're going to go attack the right one. There goes his mammoth. So now we can destroy his turtle. Tortoise. I keep saying tortoise. It turtle. It's a tortoise. And we go for 4500 attack. And unfortunately, he's going to go back. I'm going to ditch one of the cards, and so now he's down to 700. Uh, no, never mind. Now he's down to 1300 attack. I probably should have used Contract out. That would have made sense. Throw down Hummingbird. Activate its effect. That's 3,000 points. Then we could attack his face down monster. That's his tortoise. Alright, we'll end up at turn. Apologies guys, I'm going to keep pausing to pausing the mic so I can keep coughing. I don't want you guys hearing me coughing. That's kind of rude. Uh, okay, so what are we going to do? Why not? We'll normal summon. And we'll go special summon. We'll return them to the deck. Place that on the field. We'll go Lightning Vortex. We'll ditch Super Primarization. That destroys Tortoise. And. Oh, that's right, we can also use your effect. Again this time. There's another 3000. Now we'll go for an attack. 1600, awesome. We're only going to do 800 attack, which is fine. No biggie. Now we'll go for contract out. And return the cards to the field. Oh, we actually get Neos instead of um, the Neos alias or whatever it is called. And Flame Scarab. And end of turn. Yeah, I think we're going to win this one. I've got 15,000 life points. It's pretty safe to say that I'm going to win this one. Alright. Going to go for more life points. And... Well, technically, I could do this. I could... That price you and you. Summon Neos. Then we're going to go O Oversoul. Bring out Neos from the graveyard. We sacrificed. So now we have two Neos. Neos. Neoses. Neoses, I guess. And we can fusion summon Flame Scarab. Which will give us enough attack points to destroy the rest of his life points.
And another win. Right now we're going against oh no, not no you Bell. I hate her decks so much. I remember struggling with that deck because it just kept uh, kept destroying my cards and essentially making the decks I was I had made. I think it was last time. I think I used the story based deck. Either used the story based deck or was using a modified probably Dark World deck or something like that. And it was just so annoying to actually kill her. Take it down. Alright, throwing out Sparkman. And that's all we can do. Graceful charity. I'm again a knight. Place it into attack mode for a reason. Unless you specifically wanted to ditch your cards in the graveyard. Uh, once by turn, you can reveal one fusion monster from your deck, then send one fusion material whose name is specifically listed on the card to the graveyard, and this part card becomes that card for the end of the turn. That's actually extremely useful. We have Rainbow Neos, one ultimate crystal, uh, crystal monster, that would be the Rainbow Dragon in his deck. One Dark Monster. Alright, so we only have Flame Wing Man and Rainbow Neos and the other card. It's got one card, Fusion Summon, one monster. Fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from either the field. All right. Hmm. Thing is, am I going to activate that? And he's going to cancel it. She's going to cancel it. All right. We'll activate it anyway. And I'm going to send Neos, obviously, that way we can actually use um, o Oversoul and we can negate the tribute cost. I'm pretty sure we would have o Oversoul in the. Um, where are you in defense mode? In our deck somewhere. Alright, so no counters. Savage Colosseum. Oh, that's right. You have to attack with each card. That was part of the, the, the annoyance of uh, her deck, too. I remember that. Alright, let's sum this out. Now, we can send one card to the graveyard. Go Avion. Flip. Now we'll go for an attack. Alright, Call of the Haunted. Oh, you're going to make me destroy it, aren't you? Great. Bit of Fusion Summoned. I want to get that extra couple hundred of points in of damage before I Fusion Summoned. But, I regret it. Right, I might actually get lucky and take down your bell before she gets to summon herself out to the field. Yeah, she's pretty much bricked by the looks of it. Right, I don't care, easy win. And here I was worried it's going to be a long drawn out battle. Alright. 
I can't remember this guy's deck. It would have to be some sort of fiend type deck. I know that for sure, but I don't know what exactly it was. Alright guys, we're going to throw down two Call of the Haunteds. We need to summon out Prisma. Activate its effect. Ooh, Dark Neos. Neos Space Panther, or we could go Dark Bright. Get Dark Bright. It'll get rid of Necroche. Ah, uh, Fiendish Chains, alright. Oh, that sucks. I can't even go for an attack now. I'll we'll have to end our turn. Another Pomerization. Well, we can use Call of the Haunted and bring back Necroche at least. And we can also summon Hummingbird to get a thousand life points. Go for an attack. Please don't tell me it's going to be like Mirror Force or something. God damn it, I knew it was going to be a Mirror Force. Right now, if I activate the second one and bring back Prisma, are you going to have a second Mirror Force? Nope, no second Mirror Force. Alright, cool. Now we can activate your effect. Red Dark Bride. And we'll send out Sparkman to the graveyard. The reason I want to do that is just in case we get uh, is a Miracle Fusion. That could be useful. I don't think we have Rainbow Neos in the deck anymore. I think that was only specifically for the U Bell deck. I could check my extra deck, of course, and say. Just give me one second. That's not a card I need. Alright. Uh, we've got Dark Bright. Oh, we've got Divine Neos. We need any five Neospatian monsters. Ooh, crap. Oh, Neos or Neospatian. Jeez, that's, that's going to be a lot for a fusion. Oh, we could, I mean, I guess we could technically use Miracle Fusion if we have all of them in the graveyard, probably. But we've got no choice but to end our turn. And another level 100 attack. So now we're down to 68. Bullish Burial. Uh, we can send Neos to the graveyard, maybe. But again, not really much we can do. Ooh, Doomsday tokens. Okay, are you going for a summon? You go for a summoner, right? Darkness Destroyer off this. Right? It can attack twice. Oh, that's not good. That is very, very bad. Oh, well, it can attack twice. It also inflicts piercing damage. So anything in defense mode is going to get screwed over too. Right. Well, we can throw that down. And we can end a turn.
It's another 300. Never an attack. Well, we are going to summon Neos. It's a good thing we got that third call of the Haunted. Otherwise, we were going to be screwed. Alright, we can banish one card and then bring it to our hand, which is Miracle Fusion, on a second standby phase. Now. I could risk an attack because we don't know what that face down card is. Oh god, what is this gonna be? What does it do? Uh, each turn one level five or higher fiend must you normal summon can be summoned without tribute. Okay, if exactly one normal monster slash set level five or higher fiend monster and no other cards would be destroyed, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. All right, okay, so that's. That's fine. Let's just hope it doesn't summon anything stronger than Neos. I should also get rid of that bloody card too. Oh no, not Giant Germ. Ah, I should have went for... Should have went for him instead. That way I could have had 300 life points still. Oh. That kind of sucks. Well, that was the first loss of the day, but I think overall we're doing pretty good. We got through quite a few uh, duels so far. And I'll go paper. We'll go second. Oh, there goes my mouse. Get in. Alright, that's a better hand. Right, starting off with John Jam already. All right, we're gonna go e emergency call. This will allow us to get a card from our deck, which hmm, what are we gonna go for? Go for another Prisma. That'd be a good choice. Now we're gonna summon one out to the field. We can activate its effect, which means we could send one card to the graveyard, which will go for Necrochet. There's Fiendish Chain, so we can't go for an attack, that's fine. Not really fine, but we've got no choice but to accept it right now. Oh, and Mausoleum of the Emperor, too. Great. And there's a thousand life points. Right. We could go for a normal summon. And what is. Pretty sure it's Dark Bird, right? Yeah, so what does your effect do? If this card attacks a base uh, defense position monster, it flip piercing damage to your opponent. If this card uh, if this card attacks, change it to defense position at the end of the damage step. If this card is destroyed, target one monster your opponent controls and destroy that card. Alright, cool. So, I could do this. It gets 100 attack, or I could use Dark Bright and I can use it to destroy. I could get rid of Giant Jam, and that could save me from taking 1500 points because he could summon two more out. So, I could either technically destroy it, but then I'm blessed with that other card on the field. 
Ah, oh, it's kind of a hard choice. Probably should go for uh, destroying a card, though. Yeah, why not? We'll send these two to the graveyard. When it comes down to it, we can use the other fusion card with more attack. Right, gonna take Giant Jam. Now we take 500 points, and then he can summon two more out. Now, I'm gonna destroy this one. Activate its effect, and destroy it. Except he's gonna negate the. Right, I forgot about that ability. Well, that was kind of stupid on my part. Forgetting about it. Well, I mean, I need to get rid of it anyway. Attack on one face up, also you control, send one elemental hero from your deck to the graveyard, and you do that becomes the name until the end of the turn. Well, let's go fusion, I don't have any fusion cards, so... Oh, I'm just gonna throw that down and I have to end my turn. Probably should have went for, uh... What are the, what are the fusion monster wars?